Hello, this is the video to introduce you to the air friction laboratory. In this laboratory, we're going to be measuring the terminal velocity of a varying number of coffee filters. If we assume that each of those coffee filters has the same mass and we are able to keep the bottom as close to being the same shape as it was every time we drop it, then we should be able to determine the power to which the velocity is raised in the force equation for air friction. So first here we're going to do this particular video to show you kind of how to use your measuring tape, kind of what you kind of need to do when you're doing these videos. First of all, as you can see, I've kind of tilted this so it's aligned straight on down here. It's just really nice to set up your axis. I understand they, they don't come out perfect, and it's really hard. And if you align it up in one spot, you're going to be lining it up a little different in another spot. In this particular lab, since uh, the we're not measuring the specific constant associated with that force, we just want the power to which that velocity is raised. That kind of error doesn't really matter as much as it would in the last experiment where we were specifically trying to measure the constant g. So we want our calibration stick. Well, oh, I don't have my meter stick with me. Well, we have the measuring tape. And so what you want to do is you want to get something that is going to be remain in position and measure it. The larger the calibration that you use, the more accurate your answers will be. So I'm going to go from this shelf here. This shelf. And if I estimate the number of centimeters is about from the top of this shelf to the bottom of this one is 93 and a half centimeters. So that's what I'm going to use for my calibration. Now I will be doing another video where I'm analyzing this video so then you can see how I translate that into the analysis. Okay, now so we take the filters. You have a particular number of filters. And so what you want to do is you want to indicate in your video that you're doing, because when you go to analyze it, it's not going to be there, the number of filters you actually have. So in this case, I have six filters, so I can hold this up really close to the camera here. Six. There we go. Just something to mark it so when you're analyzing your video, you know how many filters you've dropped. So you go to six, and you just drop it. That's it. Okay, I'll do it again. I'm going to try not to get my hands in the way of the coffee filter itself. Just let go. Okay. Now you're ready to do the next lower number. Now if you have six coffee filters, it's recommended that you stretch out those numbers a little bit. So we want to go from six to four. You want to take the coffee filters out one at a time, individually, from the top, not from the bottom. Because remember, we want to try to avoid as much change to the bottom as possible. So very carefully peel one out. So this would now be five coffee filters. Very carefully peel the next one. You do want to be careful here. Make sure you just got one. Okay, so now I have the set of four coffee filters, and I'm going to drop it. You can make a separate video to analyze the four. I'm going to do this right here. So here's the four. Okay. So I'm going to make a video of three. Very careful just to get one at a time, because it's really easy to pull more. Okay, so three. Okay. Then two. Okay. And then 
one coffee filter. Always pulling from the top to keep the bottom the same. Okay, in the next video, we'll be analyzing these.